Hi, this is Kanababu. This is part 3 of MVC project. The last class we discussed about login form. In this video, we will discuss about uh, uh, admin, the roles of admin. So here, actually admin will add the department details. Once admin is, will log in with the username and password, admin will add the department details as well as employee details. So here, initially I create one table with name department with two columns, D number and D name. Now here, within my project, within the home controller.cs, here I have done a small modification, something like when admin will successfully log in, he has to navigate to home controller department uh, page. Is it clear? So initially here I want to design, uh, I want to add one more master page, one more layout control. So right click on uh, home, here you can click on add, add uh, MVC file layout page. It has a, the name I will give as underscore admin master underscore or admin layout I will give underscore admin layout just click on ok and here to make the things faster I already designed this uh, code from where here we have underscore layout page one underscore cshtml here you can see the table I will just copy this code and paste it to make the things faster in A part I want to display one image in B part I want to display some more hyperlinks like admin can add the department details, admin can add the employee. These uh, links must uh, display only, visible only to admin. Is it clear? Now I will go to the controller and within my controller class I will declare one more action method. So here you can see, I will just copy this one and here I will paste it. And here I will give the name of that particular method as department. Department and here you can see, right click on the action method. Here you can click on add view and the name is department. First of all I will try to go to my solution explorer. Here I will go to the models, right click on models, add uh, class. The name of the class I want to give as department. The name of the class I will give as department.cs. Click on add button. Here I will try to declare two properties because in my table there are two columns are there, D number and D name. Here also I also will declare two properties public int the property name I will give as d number and here I will declare public string the property name I will give as d name and I want to decorate with some data annotations so in order to work with annotations here I have to declare the namespace using system dot component model dot data annotations namespace here just I will declare with required required here I want to display the error message error message equals to department number must not be empty department number must not be empty and here I want to display one more message department name must not be empty so here close the braces here also you can close the bracket we'll discuss this one uh, more in the future but here I just build the solution now I want to create one department right click on department add view here you can select the model class my model class I want to create the department view and here I will select the model classes department just uh, here I will try to select the uh, admin layout dot cshtml I think my admin layout is available one minute I'll just keep this one outside within this view is it clear so now right now here right click on department add view here I'll try to select the view name the template name I want to create and here model class I will try to select as department here you can see I will select the admin layout.cshtml click on add button we successfully added the department.cshtml now go to admin layout here you change the link text home and here I want to display the text as department and here I want to display the text as uh, um, employee and here the controller name I want to give as home and here also the controller name. What is the syntax of action link? It will accept the first parameter, it will accept the link text. Second parameter, controller name. Third parameter name, action method name. Is it clear? So I will try to debug and check the output. Initially, whoever will access this website, everyone can view the home page, about us space, contact us space, site map. But once an admin will log in, 
admin has to log in with his username and password. Now I'll try to log in with my admin username is Anil Andrew at gmail.com. Password is Anil K. Just click on create. Now admin will successfully read. Here you do a small modification. Just uh, you go to homecontroller.cs and here I have done a small modification. Written redirect to action off. I have just given the action method. Is it the login user is successful? It has to go to department. Now check the output. So your admin will log in with his username and password. Password is Anil K. Just click on create. Now F11, F11, F11. Now it will go and check whether the login user is valid or not. Yes, he is valid. So it is going to the department view and display the view. Once if you observe the master page, I just modify the master page. Here you can see home, department employee and log out. I hope you understood. Now once admin will enter the department number and department name. If he is not giving the username and password, it has to display the error message. So here go to the home controller.cs and again decorate the one more method you design. And here this method you can decorate with what? HTTP post chat. So here I will try to go to my stored procedure. And within this stored procedure I want to create a procedure. Something like create procedure proc underscore add dept on the first two parameters. One is at the rate d number, data type is in, other one is at the rate d name, data type is var care of quantity. And here I will write as begin and block. So I want to write the insert query, insert into table name. What is my table name? Department values of at the rate d number, comma at the rate d name. Now select the procedure. Press F5. This is my procedure name. Now here within your college project, you can just go to um, View Solution Explorer. There you can create under model class. You can create one, uh, already one class is there with name department. Here you declare one method, something like public int. The name of the method I will give as add department. Is it clear? So bracket open, bracket close. Here you can create the connection. Here I already declared the namespaces. I want to create the connection. The SQL connection con is equals to new SQL connection of. Here I want to declare configuration manager dot connection strings of con str dot to string. Is it clear? Then I want to open the connection con dot open of. I want to pass the query. The SQL command to cmd is equals to new SQL command of pass the procedure comma con and I want to execute the procedure, I want to mention that I am working with stored procedure cmd dot comment type is equals to comment type dot stored procedure, I want to pass the parameters cmd dot parameters dot add with value of at the rate d number data type uh, value so I will pass two parameters into d number comma string d name here I will pass the values something like this d number and here I will write cmd dot parameters dot add with value of here I will try to pass at the rate d name comma d name and execute the query cmd dot execute on query the return type of this method is what int i is equals to and I want to return what i so this is what I have written within this department.cs now go to home controller here if the model state dot is valid I want to call that method is it clear I want to pass the department classes parameter department d so here I will try to uh, call the method so how to call the method d dot what is the method name add department of you have to pass the values d dot d number comma d dot d name and the return type of this method is what int so I will write int i and here I will write if i is equals to 1 I want to display one message saying that response dot write off department added department added yes and here again I want to return what view and here else I want to display one message is it clear so here I will write something like uh, fail and uh, it has to return view is it clear I hope you understood just keep the breakpoint and debug and check the output. Now admin will log in with his username and password. And here the username is anil.gmail.com. 
password is Anil K. Just click on create. Press F5. Now here, uh, I will not give the department number and department name. Then just create. Is valid is returning what? False. So it will display the validation error messages. Department number must not be empty. Department name must not be empty. I will give department number 10. Department name I will give EC department. Just click on create. Now here you can see is valid will return what? True. Now it is calling add department. At the time of calling it is passing the values 10 and DC. Now create the connection. Open the connection. Pass the procedure. Mention that working with stored procedure. Pass the values. Execute non query. And the query has executed successfully. So it was written 1. And it is sending that result to controller. And now here controller uh, will invoke what? View. It will display a message saying that department added. Here you can see on the top. So on you can go and check in the database. Here I will refresh. So the department was successfully added. Is it clear? If you want to add one more department, you can see CSC. Just click on create. Here you can see. Now the request was accepted by controller. Controller will interact with what? Model. Model will interact with what? Database. And again they send the response back to what? Controller. Controller will invoke what? View. Generally in MVC, everything will be done by whom? Controller will just interact with view as well as with model. Is it clear? In the next video, uh, we will discuss about, uh, we will perform the CRUD operations on the department table. Like with, uh, like the uh, update, delete as well as insert already we completed. Right, for more videos you can uh, um, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as Facebook group. Thank you. Have a nice day.